How's it going? Just thought I'd let you guys know that these cyber power PCs, you're actually able to control them from a motherboard sync app. Um, the button up here is no longer in service, so it doesn't change the color on all the cyber power lights anymore. Uh, real quick on showing you guys how to change it. On each motherboard, there is a there's a header on mine. It's it's this one right here that controls all the RGB lights from the motherboard. One thing of note: so pick one of these bad boys up. Um, they're on Amazon for eight bucks. They're called RGB ARGB splitters. So you just plug this one up top into there. I've already got one in there, so. You plug it into the three pin like that. Run it around back. Um, on cyber power PCs, you will have this little fan controller right here. And it'll have all these lines right here connected. And you want to disconnect all of those, right? And you want to connect them to each individual line right here. So if you have three fans, you're gonna you're only gonna use three of these. So this is the controller I'm talking about. I'm hopping back on here to tell you one last thing. There are gonna be two connections up here. This is for the button that I was talking about that gets rid of the button. So you unplug this and you wrap it in electrical tape or just tuck it up somewhere. Some people will reroute it into their motherboard and have it reset their motherboard. But I did not do that and I didn't care to check. So I'm not here to tell you how to do that. And also there's another disconnection down here that you need to disconnect. This is for the SATA controller. Uh, this is SATA powered right here. So disconnecting this will disconnect it from SATA power. And if you're tech whiz enough i'd hunt down that wire that you know the sata where the sata is and i'd disconnect it from your power source directly but you don't have so to. so for that. the easy route i'm showing you guys today this is the cyber power fan that came in the pc with it um just thought i'd whip it out just to make it easier so you guys don't have any issues so this is what it's going to look like each one of these is going to be connected. You're going to want to go ahead and disconnect this bad boy. And then find your new line that you just plugged in to the motherboard. So from this bad boy, you're going to have all these pins down here. You're going to go ahead and grab one. Plug it in. And you can either do this with your PC on or with your PC off. I did it with my PC on and immediately this light changed to that, uh, to a pastel like rainbow color. And it was completely different from any, any of the preset cyber power, you know, lighting modes. So I knew it had worked. Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy then you go ahead and do that for all the other fans that are connected and you should be good to go that is the easy mode that i'm telling you guys but if you guys are better at working on computers then i'd go ahead and think about replacing this with a um a fan hub some fan hubs uh are sata powered just like this so you'd get a sata power connection and a little box and you do the same thing, you just plug this in. But the only other thing is on cyber power PCs, their fans are all directly connected to the motherboard. So you're gonna have to go ahead and find each fan's connection on the motherboard and then disconnect that, reroute this bad boy to the fan controller. So you, in turn, free up more fan headers on your motherboard but you do have to do a little bit more wire tucking and you know figuring out where wires are gonna go so uh if you guys are you know 
good enough and you guys can do that, I'd go ahead and recommend you do that. But for now, so this is what I did first and it worked, but you know, I like having full control over the fans and the lights. So I went ahead and bought a fan controller. So highly recommend this technique whenever you're first starting out and you guys are just like new lighting colors. But once you guys start trying to upgrade your computer, go ahead and get that fan controller. All right, you guys have a good one.